Okay, what I am doing here, I've got, I've got to mount a bracket on each side of here, uh, which entails uh, drilling a hole through the frame here. I've got the first hole drilled. I had, I, my bit got dull, had to go get another bit, so I've got to finish drilling through the other side of the frame. And then this bracket will be mounted up similar on the other side. Uh, so I've got to finish drilling the hole on this side. This bracket will be mounted. Then I've got to go to the other side, do the same thing, drill a hole. That will mount between the two brackets, mount all of that on, and then you have the connection for the snow plow. Whoa. Uh, these two where the bumper is, remove those bolts, put that in there and comes across and I will have to drill this hole here into the frame uh, for this side. This bracket here has to come out. Uh, this is what's holding the bumper on. This, this bracket is a little bit tricky to put in. Uh, let me see if I can get the camera right. Uh, it has to go behind this uh, uh, cross member here, or this um, control arm. And at the same time, you have uh, this up against here tight. And then if you put too much pressure on this, it wants to shove the bumper, the bumper out a little bit and then um, get your holes out of whack up here with all of this. Uh, but I got it up there. Uh, that top hole is gonna be a little more difficult to get that bolt through, but I can do it. take this bracket off uh, well let me go ahead and get my hole started uh, so I cannot go all the way through the frame uh, because of the steering pump on the other side so I can only go through the uh, 
first part of the frame and what I have to do is drill a one inch hole through here and then we have this special uh, bolt that you put down in there and that's why you need a one inch hole in order to have enough room to get this uh, down in there and then when you go to tighten it up uh, that lip on there will catch against the frame and uh, will not turn around so you can get it tight uh, so yeah I forgot about um, I can't put the frame on here but let me get my hole started and then I'll take the frame back off and go ahead and drill the uh, one inch hole to get this uh, in there um, yeah this this one uh, this side takes a little more okay I've got the first hole drilled I started with a 3 16 uh, now I'm going to a 3 8 This is a 9 16 I don't think this drill bit is sharp enough for this. see if the one inch bit is sharp. the fun part. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. I probably need a second hand. Now, let's see how this goes. That's what I was afraid of. It fell down in there. All right, let's see if the magnet will get it out of here. Let's try it again, Sam.
hold it right there. Close. All right, let me get my nut up here. Okay, that part is started. Now, let's see if I can get the other holes lined up. Okay, I think I've got the toughest part done. And that's uh, drilling the holes and putting these two brackets on. Uh, the rest should be fairly easy mounting all of these other holes up. All right, uh, now I've got to put the tires back on it and let it down because uh, this bracket uh, has to be a certain height off of the ground. I think, I think it's 11, inches uh let me see here ah here here we go yes uh right here 11 and a quarter inches to ground and that is the top the top of that uh, bracket 11 and a quarter inches to the ground Okay, so as I said, tires uh, back on it, take it off the jack stands, and then get everything measured up to mount this bracket. Okay, I have put the first bracket up, and on this particular truck, if I've measured it correctly, I've got to go in the top holes, and there are two filler plates uh, to go in each side. So two filler plates right here, and then this is the first uh, bracket. So this was the one mounted to the frame, two filler plates, and then this bracket. And if I've measured correctly, as I said, uh, I've had to put them in the top holes. So you have these holes showing. And that's in order to get my 11, uh, 11 inch clearance. So now uh, I'll finish putting those bolts in and tighten them down. And then what I've got to do is cut the valance here uh, because this bracket um, where the, the plow frame itself is going to mount now in between uh, this bracket and the other side, uh, there's holes on the bottom and then there's uh, two holes on top that um, this is going to be in the way. So I will have to cut this off uh, I think what I did on my other truck is I cut it off and then I cut the quarter inch uh, off of it 
and then I was able to mount this piece directly onto the frame itself of the snowplow. Uh, so let's see uh, what I've what I've got to do with this one. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This other frame is going to mount up uh, in these holes here. So this balance here uh, needs to needs to come off. So I've got about 24 inches here uh, that I need to cut this off. you put that on there um, I think what I did is I cut this off on my other one and then I mounted it up on there 